All right, this is it. This is a new Ionic 38.3 kilowatt hours. So uh, we are at this press event in uh, Amsterdam as I have very limited time. We are about to leave in about 10, 15 minutes. So I will do a quick walkthrough of the car. I actually shot the video earlier, but then it was really crowded. But now, fortunately, there are some fossil cars over there that people are also checking out. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's do a walk around. So unfortunately, I cannot uh, drive the car or even power it up. Yeah, it's, it's powered down. So um, it looks more or less like the old Ionic, except for, I guess, the front. So it has this, this active grill that can open and close. And right now, well, it says AAF here. So uh, now it's in the open state. Uh, you see the radiator inside there, and then the radar is behind here. They actually made it smooth, that's good here, yeah, for good efficiency. Uh, it has full LED headlights. The old Ionic was criticized for having somewhat bad um, a high beam. Uh, so hopefully the new one is better. And okay, let me show you guys inside then. So um, the seats, some people have been almost complaining about the seats. Yeah, so it looks like this. And I look through it before. It looks more or less like the old Ionic. Uh, still, you know, the same materials. Let me, let me sit inside then. Yeah, it's a bit, not too noisy, but okay. Let's do the mandatory knocking. Ooh, soft. Ooh, soft. Ooh, uh, well, hard, hard, uh, hard, okay, uh, on this one. Hard-ish. Whoa, this is this is a bit uh, funky. There's a hole there. See, uh, so this screen has been improved. It's bigger than before. Also, the screen here is also bigger. It's the wide type that you find in the new eSoul. So, for example, I can show you later, but um, you can have the map on the two two third here, and then you can have. Uh, battery information or something on the other one third here so really nice and useful uh, other than that the interior looks just like the old one you have two 12 watt outlets here you have usb with communication there you have wireless charging pad here it hasn't been it it's just a the somewhat small one just like before you see this is a samsung s7 so um bigger phone could have problems fitting in there the gear selector is just like the old one uh there's a cup yeah cup whoa that's a that's an asian size cup man okay uh same as before here supposedly we'll have to test it i'm not sure if you can have the camera running while you are driving faster yeah um also here it's just like the old one USB inside there, the same space, so they haven't redesigned anything. Oh, sorry for that. Um, let me see, let me just check here. So, okay, the interior has been changed a little bit. Hard, hard, hard. Steering wheel, nice. Okay, same buttons, let me see. You can press it. Yeah, yeah. So, no changes there, okay. Um, but uh, now we have an SOS button. This is new. How do you access it? Should I press the SOS button? <laughs> no, let's not do that. Yeah, and okay, this one ha just happened to have the sunroof option. You can open the sunroof and then you have a manual, uh, manual closing like this. All right, and as for the headroom, I should test it. I think it's just like the old one, kind of. Whoa, that's not very much headroom, man. Whoa, I would say that you have barely a fist of clearance, maybe not even that much. So um, not suitable for very tall people. Yeah, uh, as for the side bolsters, um, have they changed the seat? You know, I feel like I, I could need a little bit more side support. They are not sport bucket seats. Uh, yeah, not the sportier seats, but I guess okay. And they're ventilated, yeah. And we have heated steering wheel, and we have, uh, just like before, you know, 
here yeah i think i briefly show you but i didn't mention it and then let me show you also in the back uh, let me see okay we have memory seats yeah that's uh, like before you see motorized uh, driver's seat but uh, the passenger let me check it out by the way did they uh, did they take features from kona uh, let me see in the old uh, ionic this one was okay it's still manual yeah it's still manual but let's check out the the rear okay so there's one thing you want to see is that here there is no intake here anymore the old ionic had an air intake where cold air from the car actually went here and cooled down the battery now it's uh, i believe it's liquid cool so all the stuff is going in the front instead and then it cools down the battery and then if you look under the car uh, you see that the battery is poking under the car so i haven't compared directly with the old ionic but i measure it to be 14 centimeters yeah i already measure it um, so ground clearance is only 14 centimeters <laughs> okay so uh but uh, we should try we should start measuring stuff all right let's do the measurement so the trunk i actually never did it before in the old ionic uh, the new one is of course should be the same but let's just check it out oh hmm yeah so it has this this edge here actually so you can see here that there is actually a, a 11 centimeter dip down here and then if we measure the the trunk length okay let's take it on the best uh that's about 82 centimeters 82 83 centimeters not too deep okay and the width of it uh, around here is i would say about 100 centimeters and then the trunk height okay there's there's some crap here but uh, let me just give you an impression it's about 65 centimeters on the trunk height and one more thing you want to know is the loading height here is oh that's kind of high whoa it's about 75 centimeters <laughs> it's almost like an suv but uh, they could have done it better if they you know didn't have this edge here but okay let's uh, follow the seat and see how it is then okay i turn on the light here so it's, it's getting dark but uh, let's check it out okay so now if we measure the the length uh yeah so the seat has been adjusted to about normal position and total length here is uh, and i have I have to do it this way Ooh, i would say about 160 ish centimeters only that's mm, almost like kona and then uh, diagonally you would say around here ish oh okay that seat has been just a little bit far but um, about about 190 centimeters yes so you can still carry some ikea bags all right now let's check out the back seat all right and as for the seat okay unfortunately there is no key here so the seat is actually just a little bit far back here so there's supposed to be slightly better leg room than this but okay about one fist length of clearance above my head uh, but we have to measure something here the width of the seat okay so if you check it there it's about 135 centimeters and uh, one very important thing is the the height here yeah let me check Ooh, uh, not the best uh, about 33 centimeters yeah okay it's about in the middle there um hmm now did i forget anything let's check out inside by the way Back seat, yeah, we have a pocket here for storing stuff, same there. Uh, okay, air vents here. Hmm, no other air vents. Uh, probably under the seats, yes. Uh, and as I mentioned, no, no intake for the battery here. Uh, and then I guess, yeah, here, by the way, uh, middle armrest, but no, no opening for skis. You only find that in German cars, like the e-golf or the... Yeah, uh e-tron does it have it but that's in a different price range um so just a just a cup holder and an armrest but still better than nothing 
So, uh, hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can show you closer here. I'm running out of time, by the way. Well, actually, I bought 10 more minutes, but, um, all right, looks like this. And um, as for storing, for securing cargo, there is no hook that is, um, that is mounted towards the chassis so you have the you have some uh, somewhat uh, fragile hooks here uh, so don't count on any heavy items here but uh, under here you see some okay well we are in Netherlands after all uh, seems like you could remove this one to free up some more space okay let's let's not move it but you could <laughs> remove it to free up some more space and there's a nice uh, pocket here for storing I guess cables or whatever hmm uh, but I, I don't think the 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 heat comes out here anymore like the old one. So, right, and we have the partial shelf here, and then we can close it. Yeah. Okay. Now let's check out the front a little bit more. I, I, okay. Well, one more thing I should show you. Sorry for the very unstructured uh, uh, video because we have somewhat limited time. So just to show you guys, yeah, the charge port. So same as before, you have these. Uh, these things here <laughs> they always dangle around here you know when you are charging so and then if you have wind you cause some micro scratches on the paint so all right there all right but you know i think that's it unfortunately i don't have time to show you more we don't have the key here i cannot drive it i cannot charge it so very limited but this video will be mainly about the interior and the, the measurement which is also important for you guys so i think that's it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later